only have the announcement insert this morning because we have a special musical group that's going to lead us in worship today, reunited. Uh, our friend Galen here, the cousin of Sue, Sue and Kurt Mills, and his friends from Floyd are here to lead us in worship this morning. So that's why you only got this piece of paper. There wasn't enough worth to print a bulletin. Um, a few announcements in there to lift up your attention. Uh, we want to thank Alan Dolores Haig for the gift of this week's television broadcast, which are given in memory of Anne and Wes Birdsall. And that memorial service was held here on Friday, and the flowers in front of the pulpit are gifts from that family for us. So please keep that family in your prayers continuing this week. And then um, I did want to let you know that I will be gone here over the first part of the week, Monday through Wednesday. I have to go have another knee surgery. I say another, right? This will be my sixth knee surgery, if you're keeping count with me, okay? So I'll be gone up to Rochester here Monday and Tuesday, and then home recovering on Wednesday. I do have a pastor lined up, uh, Pastor Lance Kittleson uh, is on backup for me this week. So if you happen to need anything, please call me or the office, and we can make sure that we take care of that. Um, looking ahead then, next weekend, uh, Dan Hansen will be back to preach for us. That way I don't have to try and write a sermon on painkillers, which could be a really interesting sermon now that I think about it. But Dan's preparing a message for us now that he has completed his year of internship, and he'll be attending Luther again this year for his last year of seminary. And then we're looking even further ahead uh, on September 13th, uh, is not only our Sunday school kickoff, but it's also our ELCA-wide God's, God's Work Our Hands Servant Sunday. And a lot of the projects that we were asked by the community to tackle are down at City Park. So we thought that morning it would be really fun if we had worship at 9 o'clock down at City Park. And then after worship, we'll do our service projects, and then we'll gather back together and have a potluck lunch at City Park because we're Lutherans. And Lutherans have to have a potluck lunch, right? That's part of the rules. So on Sunday, September 13th, uh, the Saturday, the 12th, the worship will be here that evening as normal. But that Sunday morning, we'll, be, we'll have worship at the park, do some service projects, and then have lunch together. So you are all invited to join us for that. That is all the announcements that I'd like to lift up. Please take a look at what's in here and add things to your calendars you need. But now I'd like to invite Reunited to come up and lead us in worship. Thank you, gentlemen. Something new about my heart Never felt this way before Looks like a brand new start
Thank you very much, uh, Pastor Brian and Ron. Uh, we are just really excited to be here today, um, worshiping here with you today in our Savior's Lutheran Church. And that song, uh, actually, all the all the songs we're going to do today, um, Brother Tim here has written. He's a songwriter, very talented songwriter. And actually, the three of us, meaning Bruce, uh, and I'll do introductions here in a minute, but Bruce and myself and Tim, uh, we all went to high school together. And do um, you remember high school? Yeah. yeah. That was a long time ago. What about Jimmy? Jim. Yeah, he's a tag along. He's a tag along. And, um, and when we were in high school, uh, we weren't living for the Lord. We didn't, we didn't know Jesus Christ. And we'd heard a lot about him. Of course, we'd all been uh, going to church. You know, our parents took us to church very faithfully. Uh, but we never had that relationship with Jesus Christ until we got older. And in some cases, with some of us, uh, it was at a point in our lives where you know, we were at the rock bottom. Um, with myself, uh, I was an alcoholic for 23 years. And um, in an instant, God took that, uh, took that bondage away from me. And, and I like to kind of tell this story where, you know, Alcoholics Anonymous, I knew they do some great things. And they have these different step programs, like a two-step program, a three-step program. Well, my step program, I call, was a 12-step program. And uh, that was the amount of steps it took for me to get out of the pew and kneel at an altar and give my life to Jesus Christ. And, um, and he, 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 you know, he did a miracle in my life. He, he delivered me from alcohol that day. It was almost like somebody just flipped a switch, and um, it was gone, and I never had a desire for that again. So this song, um, you know, He Lives in Me, um, that's really what we're, all, what we're all trying to accomplish here is, uh, you know, once you invite Jesus Christ into your heart, you want him to live, uh, live in you. And... Um, be a reflection of him. 
Um, this next song, uh, I think Tim wrote for the class of 2001 uh, at Lighthouse Academy in Floyd. Is that right? I think so. Yeah. I think so. Okay. <laughs> I think I think yes. What you wrote it for. We had, actually Bruce and, and Tim and I had seniors all together uh, that year and had a class of 11, which I think is the largest class uh, ever to uh, graduate from Lighthouse Academy. So uh, this is called Solid Ground.
This next song uh, really needs no introduction. It just says to praise his name. And we are put on this earth to praise Jesus Christ every day. And let's just praise his name. about all you do is there something I can do for you you took me under your wing you helped me through everything and looking back I I'm not who I used to be and so I lift my hands show you where I stand cause now I understand the purpose of your plan and I will praise your name cause you give me strength all I am because of you and I was lost and found and now I'm on holy ground I'll never be the same And I will praise your name to uh, introduce our young man back here on the drums, too, uh, Daniel Fleming. He's uh, Mark Fleming's son, my good friend Mark, and um, uh, we have never had a drummer before in the history of Reunited, <laughs> which goes back 
a little ways anyway. So we're really happy to have Daniel here, and Daniel goes to our uh, school. You're still under teaching. Daniel's a senior, and and uh, and appreciate his his uh, young enthusiasm to come out with us old timers and uh, <laughs> try to blend in because. Um, but Daniel's always blended in well uh, with with us, especially musically. Daniel's a very talented young man, and and uh, it would be nice to have a dad that owned a music store. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, help us uh, welcome him too. So. <coughs> and so, as well, long as we're doing introductions. Well, we got we don't do we don't do. Okay, go ahead. Huh? You want to do that's them later? Fine. No, that's fine. okay. So uh, uh, as I mentioned earlier, this is Bruce Carr. Tim Bloom, little brother Jimmy Bloom. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah it's okay. You can clap for Jimmy. It'll help him. He's kind of insecure. It, yeah. yeah, he needs it. Yeah. And my name's Roberts. <laughs> and um, like I said, we're from Floyd. And anytime if we've ever been out somewhere that's not close to this area, we try to explain where Floyd is. I always want to know where's Floyd, Iowa. And I just tell them it's south of Orchard. Yeah. Right, and you get the same blank look on their faces when you told them Floyd. So, anyway, Tim, uh, do you want to think about this song, Grandma's song? Yeah. Um, they don't let me talk much anyway. But um, this next song, it's I, I wrote for my grandma, and um, you know, we, every time her birthday came up, we always try to buy her something, and she'd always give it away or never use it. So someone said, "Why don't you write a song for her?" And I said, "Well, how am I going to write a song for my grandma? Because I, I just got to be inspired by this stuff." And anyway. Uh, well, well, can't you remember how things were? And I started talking about how my dad used to drop me off and all this stuff. And pretty soon I had this song wrote. Um, but anyway, about my grandma, she uh, never had nothing. I mean, she lived in a, a low part of town. She lost three of her kids and her husband. And she worked hard all of her life. But when I was there all the time, it just seemed like we had more than enough. But uh, it was just a real blessing. And uh, But anyway, I wrote this song for her, uh, her birthday one day. And... Um, it's called, uh, that's what grandmas are for. On my way to grandma's house, down that old dirt road. Street sign says Maywood. My favorite place to go Grandma greets me on the porch With a smile that's so sincere She gives me love and so much more That's what grandmas are for I spent a night with grandma Grandpa stories and TV shows She lets me stay up late Until I start to close And as she leads me off to sleep She prays my soul to keep She gives me love and so much more That's what grandmas are for in the oven and high school on the sill smell the homemade cooking that's what grandmas are for Older, and grandma's moving slow It's my chance to help her Repay the love she's shown She asks how much she owes me I smile and ask what for You give back love and so much more Cause that's what grandmas are for 
and homemade breads in the oven and pie school on the sill the smell of homemade cooking and that's what grandma's are for yeah homemade breads in the oven and pie school on the sill smell the homemade cooking that's what grandmas are for that's what grandmas are for I love that song because I like pie and uh, every time anytime I uh, hear there's pie on the sill I'm, I get excited. In fact, we're, I was at a gospel sing yesterday in Wisconsin, and uh, uh, our pastor was with us, and he brought me back a, a treat from the, of course, there's always great food at gospel sings, kind of like, you know, potlucks with, with churches. And um, a hickory nut pie. Has anybody ever heard of hickory nut pie? I had never even heard of it, and now I get to add it to my list of the pie that I've eaten is hickory nut pie. I thought that was kind of cool. Is that what the pies on the sill? Is that what the words are there? Pies on the sill. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was pies for sale. Or pies for sale? Oh, yeah, sale, yeah. <laughs> I missed that. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm glad I came today. Well, yeah, well, you learned something, yeah. All those years, never knew what the words were. <laughs> That's why it was so muffled in that area. It was. It was. Okay, I don't expect any more muffling. Um, this next song is called Chosen Few, and, you know, when we accept... Christ, you know, he, he paid the price. He played the ultimate price. We are bought with the blood of Jesus Christ. And um, once you accept him, I mean, you, your name is written into the Lamb's Book of Life. You know, you have, to, you have to believe that he was born of a virgin, that he died, and God, you know, raised him from the dead. You know, that, that's what separates Christianity from every other um, type of religion there is in the world, is that, you know, Christianity, that is the only place where you're going to hear about Savior that was raised from the dead. And this song is called Chosen Few. <coughs> if you go back in time and see where Jesus walked the line kneel down at his feet look up but cannot speak you see the nails you see the thorns see the blood as it pours and as you look into his face it's then you understand Cause in his eyes you see the pain that he went through He died on Calvary just to save me and you And why do so many people think only of themselves? It's sad but true Are you one of the chosen few? You know it's all up to you Are you one of the chosen few? One of the chosen few They took him down, laid him in a tomb in three days he left that room Just like they said he would He now reigns on high He looks down at his work He sees how they lost their Wrong is round and right is gone The end is almost here Cause in his eyes you see the pain that 
he went through. He died on Calvary just to save me and you. And why do so many people think only of themselves? It's sad but true. Are you one of the chosen few? You know it's all up to you. Are you one of the chosen few? One of the chosen few. Are you one of the chosen few? Are you one of the chosen few? Are you one of the chosen few? Me and you one of the chosen few. Cause in his eyes you see the pain that he went through. He died on Calvary just to save me and you. And why do so many people think only of themselves? It's a head but true. Are you one of the chosen few? You know it's all up to you. Are you one of the chosen few? One of the chosen few. So uh, this next song, if I'm not mistaken, kind of talks about, you know, different, different paths you can take in your life and thinking about, well, if I'd have gone this way, I wonder what would have happened, and this way, what would have happened, and, um, so you, you know, the only, the only true path is, is the path to Jesus Christ, and um, you can't, you know, you can't, just can't look back at the past and think about what ifs, um, unless it's something that you know that God has really in life and I know I have examples of that where um, if I would have done this or gone with this business decision or something down this road you know I may not be where I am today and uh, God kept me and really all of us uh, in this little town of Floyd Iowa that I was born and raised in and um, actually living back in the house that my dad built the year I was born so uh, you don't see that too often anymore I don't think uh, Maybe, maybe with the farm, you know, century farms and things. But anyway, this song is called What Ifs. It's kind of a fun song. And uh, Daniel told us when we were rehearsing once, we need to keep it lively. So. Now, you got to remember, this is the first time we played together. Uh, well, let's see. <coughs> On the road, how long has it been? It's been a while. Yeah. Just say a while. It's been a while. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. So while. That narrows it right down. We might make a mistake on this one. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> One, two, three, four. But looking back, oh, wait. mistake already. Looking back at this life I've had, there's many things out there I could have tried. And that old window's open in a little while. And when it closes, you wonder what, what is.
I used to drink, I used to smoke, always drunk or always stoned. I thought I found what I've been searching for. Oh, playing life's the everyday game, chasing fortune, chasing fame. And then I met someone who changed my ways. And when I think of that old kids happy. <laughs> okay. Can you uh, turn my monitor down a little bit? Okay. Okay. Well, um, this next song I wrote, um, it's kind of hard for me to talk about this, but uh, um, growing up I, I got in drugs pretty heavy and yeah, can't even hardly talk through it. And anyway, um, uh, it was a pretty rough road. But uh, anyway, uh, I was at the point that I was selling drugs and uh, I was facing going to prison. Matter of fact, I stood in front of the judge and he, he told me that uh, he sentenced me to 10 years of prison and then I ended up getting probation. But um, I prayed to God to try to get me out of this mess. and. That, you know, a few days later, I, I got busted, and I was standing in front of a judge, so he really got me out of it. But um, the thing about it is uh, I had spent 35, 40 years now, 35 years now, I've been clean. And I look back when I, I got busted, it was probably the best thing that's ever happened in my life. But um, I look today at all these kids that get strung out so much, and all these people that are getting killed and, and uh, you know, strung out on drugs all the time or end up in prison, you know, and um, that could have been me. So um, I uh, wrote this song called Could Have Been Me.
was sitting in a restaurant when a young man walks in. I seen the look on his face, he was strung out on some drug. Well, my heart fell to my knees. That could have been me. Staring out the window of the uptown cafe. I seen a drunk walk by, I knew who he was. Lost his wife and family, that could have been me. But Jesus, he reached way down, and he took me by the ear. He said, son, you better listen to the word you're gonna hear. This is your last chance. You can mark it down in stone. Cause if you don't listen, you're on your own. So I thank God for one last chance. Looking through the paper, what a name I recognize. Someone I hung with in my other life. He was sentenced to prison. That could have been me. But Jesus, he reached way down, and he took me by the ear. He said, son, you better listen to the word you're going to hear. This is your last chance. You can mark it down in stone, because if you don't listen, you're on your own, so I thank God for one last chance. Yeah, I thank God for one last chance. Well, I can relate to that song, too. And uh, This next one um, that, that uh, we're going to do is called There's a Reason. And I know looking back into my life, um, I can see now how, you know, how God orchestrated all the things that happened in my life and allowed things to happen. Um, and I'm talking about, you know, even some of the bad things. Um, he allowed those things to happen, and really in time, it, it drew me closer to him. And... Um, I'm just thankful to have a, uh, a saving, um, a, a patient Savior, and um, that, um, you know, I've, I've accepted him as my Savior, and um, my wife, Deb, as well, she got, she accepted Christ, I think, a year before I did, and um, I'm just so thankful to have a, have a gracious God that uh, paid the price for us, and um, we can spend eternity with him those of us who have accepted him so there is a reason there's a reason <laughs> Now I can 
see the way Don't wanna go that way again Cause I walk some rocky roads I sh things I've done I never found the answers till I learned of God's plan And I know there's a reason that we go through the things we do And I know there's an answer if we listen to His Word And I know our stubborn minds can close our eyes so tight Even when the answer's there we can't see the light Just put your trust in God and have a heart that's true He'll show you everything He wants you to do And I know there's a reason that we go through the things we do And I know there's an answer If we listen to His Word And I know there's a reason That we go And I know there's an answer if we listen to His Word. And I know there's a reason that we go through the things we do. And I know there's an answer if we listen to his word if we listen and to god's word wanted to mention that um, I don't know if you saw but when you came into the church on this side Bruce uh, we'll, we'll oh, yeah. okay. we've got some CDs out there uh, they are not for sale uh, they're for your taking so if you'd like a CD uh, please pick one up on the way out um, our goal is to um, you know we're, we're we're told through you know to spread God's word the Great Commission we need to go out spread God's word and uh, that's what we do through song and testimony so um, feel free to um, take a CD on the way out. And I think we're going to do one more song. Is that right? We're doing pretty good on time. One more. Oh. I'm going to stop. The pastor's pastor coming. wants to say hey, something. I'm just glad he only came, but he didn't stop us after the first song. So. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was going to, yeah. Uh, lead worship this morning. So ushers, if you would, during the song, pass the offering plates and we'll take up our gifts, offerings, and our tithes and take us away, gentlemen. Well, we leave this song to last because Tim makes me sing it and uh, it's uh, once I get done with this song, I'm usually done. My voice is usually gone. So anyway, um, I really like this song. Um, like I said, Tim is, is just an astounding songwriter and he comes up with all these different songs of different types like what ifs i mean that's just that's just kind of a different song that we've never done anything like that but uh he just shows up with this uh this great stuff and all we do is jump in and hang on usually he's usually got it so all right we're gonna try this um you know that um the, the, at the foot of the cross you know this that's the name of this song and um you know jesus will meet you anywhere uh he'll meet you in the woods 
I've talked to people that have accepted Christ um, while they're deer hunting in a deer stand. Um, I was in a church when I got saved, um, and these gentlemen here all have uh, testimonies as well as I'm sure you do as well. Um, but uh, you can always meet Jesus at the foot of the cross and um, humble ourselves, get on our knees, and uh, worship him. Uh, foot of the cross. Searched here forever for my place here on earth. I've been down every side street, and I got lost. Thank you so much for having us.
today. Um, Pastor Brian, uh, just thank you so much for letting us be a part of your um, worship today. And um, if you don't know Jesus Christ today, today is a day of salvation. Meet with Pastor Brian, and um, he can lead you to cross today. You can, you can say that on this Sunday in August, I accepted Jesus Christ as my Savior. Um, again, God bless you all, and thank you for having us here today. Thank you.